kick. Jamshed Poor desperate here as he's in for it. The ball is over the line. Is it into the net? They've got one, and it looks as though Hartley may have breathed life into this game for Jamshed Poor here. It was from the set piece. We know North East do concede from set pieces. Jamshed Poor are alive and kicking. You like that drama here at the Tillet, don't you, John? You know, deal with the ball. I think that that's. Let's have a look. He's climbed up well there. It's hit his arm. Is that a handball? Should that have been a goal? That's the question. Has he headed it down onto his own arm? He's headed it onto his arm. Yeah. But it's hit his forearm, John. It has bounced over the keeper and gone in, but it's given him that lifeline. Gonzalez who headed it back. On side! What a blinding save into the midsection of. It still could go in. It finally does. The keeper was down. And it's Super Sub who's done the damage. Real controversy here. Unbelievable. Still real controversy. I don't know what the referee's going to do here, but the keeper is down and he's out at the moment. Gerpreets took one right either in the chest or the head from a straight by Huber, and they've carried on playing. He's lying in the six-yard box, prostrate there. He's down, he's out, and they carried on playing and they've got themselves a goal. Look at this, when it comes back in, that's a great save. It looks like it's caught him right in the chest, but they've carried on playing and within seconds the ball's ended up in the back of the net. Just watch Wanan. Wanan actually overruns the ball. Watch the number five. As this is excellent work by the right fullback Sandeep. Wanan overruns the ball, and it's easy. Now the Thunga Putti, the 22-year-old, and what I must say here for this young man, it's his first goal ever in the Hero Indian Super League in his 36th appearance. It's on its way at the second. It's a super sub. He's there again. Ishan Pendina, the 22 year old. They've come off the bench and got a crucial goal and a 2 1 win against Hyderabad. He's got them on level footing here. 84th minute. The equaliser has come from the set piece. The goal struck late in games. They've underlined that again. It's game on in the closing stages. The second corner's come in, he's had a couple of sniffs at it, and he's actually composed himself with the rebound and slotted in at the back of the net. What an impact the kids had. Fantastic. Oh, it's a cracking header. It's an absolutely superb goal here. The ball is into the middle of the goal and he's made a, a name for himself on comeback here. Not sure where did he come from? Well, you can see Ashtosh met a fantastic header from him, an absolute bullet. It went like a rocket. An occasion, but this time times it to perfection. We talk about Gallego and the quality of his delivery, but what? A header that is for Ashtosh for his first ever hero ISL goal. In a Premier League game, and he attempted to pass the ball back with a flick and fell so and so over so and so. Here we go, it is Liston, he pulls it in, and it's 1 0 Hyderabad. Halley's got his fourth of the season, and watch out for the celebration. Enjoy the game of football because it's just simple from him. He has a touch, he looks up, he knows Halley Chanan's there and just puts it on a plate. But look at Halley Chanan when he finishes this. He opens himself right up to make sure that Ashti cannot get to it at all. Perfect start for him. He wasn't sure which way to go, as a result he gave the ball away, and this is the big chance, and is this the big moment? It is, it's 2 0 North East United! He has arrived in style, all the way from Jamaica! The question was, was 
When he came here, would he play? He's come on, and within 15 minutes of putting on that white shirt of the northeast, Deshaun Brown makes absolutely no mistake. Sloppy, sloppy play in the middle of the park for Jamshedpur. But take nothing away from that cool card finish from Deshaun Brown. A reminder that Odisha do have three players on three yellow cards. Gorov Bora being one of them, Stephen Taylor another, and Henry Antonio! Wow, we they are back level! And uh, Batman Cole Alexander, we were talking about, has taken everybody by surprise. You're always in a game. It's a throw in just inside. It's absolutely sloppy, it has to be said from Hyderabad. They don't deal with it. They take nothing away from Cole Alexander here. Good work from Mauricio, just holding off the challenges. It's been a confident start though from the number 18 for the Kerala Blasters. The number six for Bengaluru is always a threat with these balls. And now the opening! Oh, that is another golasso from Glenn Silva. A bit of Brazilian magic and what? An outstanding finish, this guy has now scored his fourth goal and they were under the hammer, weren't they, Bengaluru? But they've opened the accounts here. I can't believe Costa, six foot six, whatever he is, ducks down here when Partalu's going up for the ball. Partalu doesn't get a touch, he misses it, but Costa's ducking down. But what a great technique that is by Clayton at the back post. His first attempt against Goa, who scored the 150th goal in the Hero Indian Super League of Season 7 with the half scissor. It was unbelievable. It's long, it's threatening, it's headed on by Bartolu. It's the overhead again, it's against the post. Bartolu's shot's blocked. There's one on actually with the second one. And now, Roll KP's got sand deep square. Roll KP, will he take him on himself? He does! And he scores! A glass off for Roll KP! Bengaluru could have stolen it at the other end. But this player has gone down the other. The 20 year old has struck deep in a stoppage time. Another night of high drama here in Babylon. Edu Garcia! Golasso! The Mariners have got the breakthrough! It's the set piece that has done the damage! It's a drinks break! Wow! What a goal that is! I thought Terry was going to put his boot through it, but Ed Edu Bidia puts his boot through it. It's a fantastic strike! For me, it's the goalkeeper side. The goalkeeper's took a step over. It's just a slight movement. It's only one yard. He's took a step to his left-hand side, and he's created the opportunity for Edu, Edu Garcia to stick it into the back of the net. What a strike. I said, put your boot through it, Andy, and I mean, put some pace on it, and that's exactly what he did.